Hey guys, Mary Jan. So 411, so this time I did a short <laughs> first. So I got stuff in my mouth. So yeah, I'm so tired, but I've been in the kitchen pretty much since midnight. I made vegan one tons from scratch. And then I made one ton soup, so I had the ketchup, the ketchup, <laughs> cabbage and onions. I'm so tired, I can't talk straight. Mm. And so this is my homemade uh, veggie broth. So I used up two containers. And then I made the deep fried one ton. Uh, I already ate like five pieces. <laughs> so I was eating them while I cooked. I did two loads of dishes. One, two. I was going to do the cat dishes, but I'm way too tired. And I think I'm just going to like do set because it's just containers. And I started making uh, the stuff for the eggplant dish, but I'm just too tired <laughs> to do it, so I'm going to put the stuff away. So this is the freezer bag that I, the bag that I used to put, uh, veg, what do you call it, veggie scraps. And that's how I make my veggie broth. This is what I used for that, which I've shown tons of times. So I'm going to put it back in the freezer. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I find that whenever I start cooking something, I always end up wanting something else. <laughs> so now I'm actually craving pierogies and french fries, but I'm too tired to make it, so... I'm just going to make what I have. So there's the eggplant still cut up down at the bottom. I cut out the fridge again, so I got some more containers. So that's why they're all drying. So, yeah, I'm not that hungry, so I think I'm just going to have the deep fried one tons before I go to bed. But <clears throat> I really like them. These are the mushrooms and the walnuts and green onions, other stuff. <laughs> That's what it looks like. But I really like it. And I like the soup too. I don't know, I might have the soup, we'll see. Mm. That's what the filling looks like for inside, so you could deep fry them or you could put them in soup, so I do both. And, um, pan veggie, I used to go there all the time for the deep fried one ton and the one ton soup, so that's why I do both. <laughs> um, and like I said, the tough food, the foodie taste flight dish has, uh, I like the, her recipe, but you gotta put the tough food in a container and put it in the freezer and wait overnight, but I wanted it today, so... I'm still debating if I want to go downtown later today because I didn't realize I had to stay up all night and my back's really starting to hurt right now. But I do have to pay rent, so I kind of prefer going out when I have to go pay rent. And then if I do get money, I can go to the dollar stop by the dollar store on Hastings. So I have to get the number three. I had the number four balloon still from last year. <laughs> and the candles, I believe, so I just have to get the number three. So I usually save all my candles, but I don't, for some reason I don't have too many this time. But I can't find them. <laughs> One or the other. These are so good. So yeah, I might just eat this because 
I'm pretty tired. So I found some containers. So I could put the soup away. I really gotta clean down my oven and <laughs> fix it because I have like the burners on the side and everything waiting, but I've been too busy doing other things or too tired, so I will have to be later today. And I still have to do the kitchen floors and just too much stuff. <laughs> so it's like, that's why I haven't even been putting on my makeup lately because it's just like, I just got too much to do. <laughs> It doesn't really matter what I look like. <laughs> I'm gonna put the tip away. Mm. Yeah. I'll save the soup. I'm just gonna have the uh, deep fried one ton. <laughs> It's so funny, I was watching, uh, or when I go outside smoking, because I smoke, like, every hour or something like that, every hour or half hour, usually. <laughs> I was listening to the Brother You Love podcast, and some of the old ones. I don't remember which episode it was. But it's funny, because... Matt was going on and on about how much he uh, wanted to be an actor because of his brother, Joey. <laughs> and then Andy says, I want to be an actor because I want to be a Batman. <laughs> I just, just stop laughing at that. It's so funny. So that's why he's an actor, because of Batman. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just surprised that Joey looks still the same. Andy's totally changed because of the hair. Because he has a lot of facial hair. And then Matt looks so much older than... Like, watching Boy Meets World and then watching him in the podcast. It's like, wow, he's changed so much. <laughs> Like, he aged. <laughs> That's what I mean. The other, the other ones didn't age. But, like, I had, I don't age. Like, I still look like I'm 20. <laughs> That's why I date 20-year-olds. But I do date. <laughs> Hopefully I have a lid for this one. Oh yeah, because I'm just so tired. I'm like, I almost don't even want to smoke, but I know I'm going to need to smoke. <laughs> I really want to do these dishes because then I know I'll have containers. But I got to go out as soon as I get out, pretty much anyways. So, so I'm hoping to get up around, I want to set my alarm for noon. And then, I mean for 11, and then leave like around 1. And then go pay rent. And then I'll see. I'm debating if I want to go downtown or not. If I get money, I'll, order, I'll go downtown. If I don't, then I'll just wait till Sunday. Part of me kind of wants to go downtown. So then that way, I, like, because I, I did have three smoke packs of smoke, but I smoke quite a lot more now. <laughs> so I don't know if it will last or not. So... I gotta stop doing that though. For now on, whenever I get money, I gotta stop putting on my card. But I think I owed money, so I was like, oh, I could put seventy-five dollars on my credit card, and then I'll use Instacart again. But I guess I owed money from the last time because I know I went over a little bit. <clears throat> so I guess that's why I was like, ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> I would have had seventy-five bucks if I didn't put it on my card. But I guess I paid off debt, so hopefully. Uh, I won't owe any more. <laughs> oh, like, that's the only problem about Capital One is that it takes so long for it to show like how much you owe. 
So you're always like, oh yeah, I don't owe any money, but then when you put money on the car, then it, all of a sudden it tells you how much you owe, and it's like, crap. <laughs> but to use instant credit, they only take credit cards, so I was like, oh, I'm going to be home all weekend, so last weekend, so I wanted to use instant card. But then it, my credit card took all my money, so that's okay though, because at least I um, paid off debt, and like I said, I did stock up on a lot of things, but there's a few things that I need to get for the party. Um, if I make cupcakes, and I gotta get stuff for that, so. Because <laughs> I'll probably get my mom to get a non-vegan cake, because not everybody's vegan, and then just make cupcakes and bring with me that are vegan. <clears throat> Which was pretty easy to do. I'll probably do the it doesn't taste like chicken uh, recipe. So, because there's not that, so far only six people are coming that I know of. So, my mom, her boyfriend, my dad, <laughs> possibility, my friend uh, Lisa from Victoria, my friend Dean that I work at, uh, Peony and Rogers, and then myself. So, that's six. So there's only two, only two of us are vegans. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I might just make like six cupcakes and bring them down, but <clears throat> we'll see. And then if um, her mom comes, then it'll be seven. So that's why I'm trying to get all the numbers because I still haven't reserved for it yet. It's funny because last time me and my mom went there, I was like, I always want to sit in the conductors area there because it's haunted, supposedly, and, uh, but yeah, we, we keep forgetting <laughs> to book it, but, um, I'll have to just tell the story, I think, at some point, because I was going to wait and try and get permission from the restaurant to do it at the restaurant, but with my conditions now, it's just too hard to, like, even coordinate with that. But, um, the washroom is haunted. There's two kids that are in the restaurant, supposedly two ghost kids. Um, there's an old guy. So there's, like, all together there's, like, six ghosts in that restaurant. So that's why I love going there, because it's so haunted. And there's one that's in a washroom, in the woman's washroom, that's a peeping Tom, <laughs> supposedly. Maybe that's, it's like a really famous story, so almost everybody knows that story, but. Yeah. There's so many ghost stories that I wanted to tell, but it's just so hard. So yeah, if you guys haven't checked it out, I do have my top 10 ghost list. That I did a couple of Halloweens ago. So yeah, my top ten ghosts. Because even, like, uh, some people don't know that, but Houston is supposedly a ghost. Elvis is a ghost. <laughs> he haunts Graceland um, with his mom. So, I know not everybody believes in that kind of thing, but I do. So, <clears throat> and I don't believe, but I don't believe that they're here to, like, cause trouble kind of thing, they're just here because they miss their life here kind of thing, or they just want, they got unfinished business, that kind of thing, but, um, when you hear about ghost stories, like, uh, the ghosts attack people, that's not ghosts, that's demons, so there's total opposite, and that's why I don't believe, like I keep saying, I don't believe in that paranormal stuff. When, you, when they do the ghost box and all that stuff anymore, because I keep saying it's just, I think it's just the demons fucking with your Because <laughs> even uh, Seth Borden, he went to his old family house and then he did an investigation and somebody said uh, when they asked who killed everyone, some, they heard their name Lizzie. But I'm like, it could just be anybody though who's any demon that's there because you're opening the door for them to come in, so, <laughs> it could just be a demon fucking with you, and that's why I don't believe in that stuff anymore, I used to, but not anymore, so, but I do believe in ghosts, I just, 
I think that a lot of them are just stuck here because they love it here too much and or they're just too depressed to move on. Like um the first ghost story that I did was Annabelle. And I used to always want to meet go there and spend the night so I could meet her and tell her, Don't worry, don't stay around. This guy's not worth it because she she committed suicide by jumping off the castle because he had a whole other life and she was supposed to get married to him. So that's why I'm like, I want to tell her, don't don't stay here for him. He's not he's not coming back. He's, you're a ghost now. <laughs> it's time for you to go. But like, if I ever did any of that stuff, that's what I do. But then there's all these uh, paranormal investigators who like go off and do stuff, but they supposedly talk to the dead and they don't even help them out. They're just like, oh, that that's what they said, and this is how it happened. <laughs> So yeah, I don't really believe it anymore. I still have these darn food flies, but I have these traps here. It's one. Every time I'm cooking, there's one. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, that's my opinion. Like I said, I used to be into that stuff, but not anymore. So I'm going to put the soup in the other container. Wow, it's 4.30 now. Well, I guess I stayed up till like 5. I still gotta eat, and I'm most likely gonna watch uh, I Love So Beautiful again, because I'm probably only gonna stay up for like 20 minutes after I have my smoke. So like I said, uh, I would watch, um... Slaughter True Crimes, one of my new favorite uh, crime channel because I already watched all Twisted Minds and Jack Neal and all the other stuff. Meet Mary Murder, I've watched it all. So that's why I never watch TV because I'm I can't smoke and watch inside and watch TV. So when I'm outside. That's when I would watch YouTube. Whoops. Now, hopefully I got lids that will fit. <laughs> I gotta set this pot before I go to bed. I think I do. That's how tired I am. I should have checked the lids first. So I'm hoping this will fit now. <laughs> That's not going to fit. <laughs> not going to fit. Oh, man. I might have to uh, put it in a, in a jar. Because I don't have any containers. So I did almost all the dishes except for the cats. Ooh, well, I was thinking of watching the Twilight Zone, but I'm not going to be... A week long, so that's why I've been watching these shows. I don't know. I should grab the lid first. So before you put things in the container, grab the lid first. I'm so tired. That's why. This one, yes. Now I got a lid because I'm gonna freeze one and then I'm gonna put the other in the in the fridge, so I don't want to put in a glass. I don't like glass being in the fridge. I have another container. This side. Let's see. Oh yeah, and I'll show you guys what I did earlier. Mm. Ah, I'm getting the wrong lid. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I have enough lids. If this does not work, I might have to put in a glass. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> These are like my backup containers. So 
that's why I don't know the lids. Now I just got all the lids dirty. Jeez. <laughs> that's way too small. But yeah, I still think that's <laughs> Why do you want to be Batman? I mean, why do you want to be an actor if I want to be Batman? <laughs> no, that's the same lid. Why do I have one lid and not the other lids? <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Oh, I'll put this in a container, I guess. In a glass container, and this will go in the fridge. Then I'll be making a mess. Well, I do have a glass container here. So, yeah, maybe I'll stop recording and record. And then I'll just upload them all together so you guys can see what I did. Because I didn't start being in the kitchen till midnight. So, yeah. Stay tuned for part two for bed here on Phantom Stories.